Hello, this is Bunting, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own trap and dubstep drums in Vital. Now, I just want to say I put no post processing on any of these, but feel free to add your own. I just wanted to make them sound as good as possible just with Vital. So, first things first, our hi hat. Just have our little pattern up here, and we're gonna initialize our patch. And as I'm doing that, I just wanna say the majority of my viewers are not subscribed, so if you enjoy my content, please consider doing that. That would help me out a lot. Okay, so starting off with our initialize patch, just clicking up here, initialize. Um, the first thing we wanna do is get that out of our way and disable oscillator one and turn on our sampler some white noise just turning this down for my ears sake and to make that hi-hat click and sizzle we want to mess with this volume envelope up here so I'm turning down the attack and the release and then I'm going to also turn down the decay and sustain so it hits really quickly that's much more hi-hatty already all right the next thing is Instead of kind of clicking, we want it to, to sizzle more. So to do that, we're going to cut off our high end by turning on this filter and dragging this blend up and this cutoff up. But before that, you need to route your sampler through it. Right now, it's going into our effects. We want it to go through our filter one. And let's turn down our resonance. And you can mess with your cutoff and resonance until you get it sounding real nice to a point you like it. Okay, in addition to that, we're gonna turn up our drive a bit. Just a bit, it makes it click a little nicer. And in addition to that, we're going to turn on a compressor and turn it on single band and turn it the release up and attack up. And then it sounds real nice. From there, you can mess with your compressor settings. You can try even different samples, drag in your own noise samples, whatnot, mess with your cutoff, make it a little longer or a little shorter, and you get a few different hi-hat sounds from there. And of course, for all these, just bounce them out to audio once you're done with them. Okay, the next thing is this open hi-hat here, and this is pretty much the same exact thing, except I added a tiny bit of reverb. And on here, turn the chorus down, frequency down, or else it kind of phases around a tiny bit. The size up and mix down and time down. That's the difference it makes. Makes it ring out a bit, which is good for that open kind of sound. All right, the next thing is our hat. I mean, our clap. That was our hat. So I'm gonna just duplicate this and initialize another patch. Now this is pretty similar to the hi-hat in some ways in that we're turning off oscillator one and turning on our white noise, okay? And now we're gonna take our LFO one and turn this down a bit. LFO one and we're gonna shape our clap envelope. Now claps have weird transients. And so what you make is gonna end up looking something like this. Two little peaks at the beginning and then a slope down, kind of ending a bit early. Cool. And let's assign that to our level. And turn it, turn it up a bit. And in addition to that, let's put it on seconds and change this mode to envelope. Because when it's not on envelope, it re-triggers. But when it's on envelope, it stops the first time. get that to a frequency we like for a clap maybe a little faster just a hair okay and the magic happens when we route it through filter one so click effects filter one and put this on bandpass and turn it up around 75 percent you hear that and you can really mess with the tonality of your clap from here. I 
think that sounds good. And also on this, we're going to put a single band compressor. Try the multi band. It adds a lot of low end. And it doesn't really improve the sound too much. And a pinch of distortion with the drive up just a bit. Cool. And to mess with this, you can mess with the shape of your envelope. You can mess with the time of it. Mess with the cutoff position. Try other sounds too. Drag in your own and all that fun stuff. All right, that was our clap. See, you got two claps already right there. The next thing is gonna be our kick. Then I'll get to the snares because snares are a little, little trickier to get right. So let me actually just initialize this patch here. Okay. And first of all, you want the MIDI note to be quite low, I would say. So you get that bass coming in. So click init here, go to factory, basic shapes. We got a sine wave, lovely. Now we want this to pluck, just to boom. So we're going to shape our envelope with our LFO1 here. Just dragging it back and putting another point and putting it down. And drag this to our level. And let's turn the frequency up and drag it out a bit more. And we don't want it to re-trigger like that, so we'll put it on envelope. Cool. The next thing that gives this kick a lot of punch is LFO2. We're going to drag it back and down, put it to a quarter, an envelope, and assign this to our pitch. And just mess with how much this is automating your pitch until you get it at a point you want. Don't want too much. Don't want too little either. Get it to the sweet spot, about 17.28 in this case. Okay, the next thing is some noise. And we're also going to want this to pluck. So LFO3, we're just going to do the same treatment as the other LFOs, but kind of drag this curve down a bit and assign it to our noise level. All right, now to glue this all together, we're going to turn on our compressor, turn our attack and release up, put our mix on half, and also turn on some distortion with the soft clip. This really punches it up. Let's compare ours, our kicks. Oh, that's gone, so we can't. But that's your kick. You can add more or less distortion depending on what you're feeling. You can change the pitch of it. You can change the pitch of the noise. You can change the shape of the noise envelope. Make it a little clickier, a little less clickier. Change all your envelopes around and just make a few different kicks and make them knock with some post-processing. All right, on to our snare. First, our trap snare. So for this, you basically want let me initialize our preset. Another sine wave. Make sure you get these all at nice notes. So that'll be the fundamental of our snare. And give us a similar treatment to our kick LFO. Let's drag this down and back. Put on envelope, quarter note frequency, and honor level. In addition to that, let's make it curvy. And it's not a snare without noise, so we really need that noise oscillator coming in. Shaping our envelope here and the LFO, assigning that to our noise. Cool. And after that, let's route this sampler through filter one and drag it to a bandpass. Turn our resonance down and cut off up. You can hear the difference that makes. Just a tiny bit of resonance. Never hurt. Okay, the next thing is this multiband compressor. And for this, just turn both your attack and release up. Go crazy with it. 
and then some distortion. Just a bit of drive. This, these two in com combination really just glue your sound together, makes it sound like one thing rather than two. And lastly, we're gonna boost our highs with this EQ here. Just clicking high and turning up this gain and putting our cutoff back just a bit. Awesome, and that's our trap snare. You can mess with your compression settings, mess with your distortion, change the fundamental. Change the position of this filter. Add a little more drive. And of course, post-processing for this. Cool. All right, now our dubstep snare here. So this is kind of similar to our trap snare. It's mostly just a lower fundamental. So let's initialize our preset, go to our basic shape sine wave, shape our envelope like all the other ones, put that on our level. But on this one, we want it to kind of stay up for a bit, then quickly drop down. Let's add some noise with another envelope. A lot of envelopes this episode, guys. Putting that on our level and shaping it till it sounds nice and snare-like. Beautiful, amazing. All right, next thing, glue it all together with a compressor. We want our attack up but not our release because we want a little noise still decaying if you can hear that difference. It cuts out really fast here, cuts out a little slower here. Cool. Then the further glue it, some distortion on soft clip, drive up. And EQ, you can cut out your lows by enabling this uh, high pass or low cut filter. And also, just drag this little knob up here and turn your resonance down. Give it a bit of a boost in that range. And maybe, feeling crazy, add a little highs. I don't think it really needs the highs though. And that's your snare. I think you could honestly use a bit different oscillator envelope and you can change the pitch and that about covers it that's all your drums here really mess with all these patches make them your own have fun with it experiment all that fun jazz stuff like that so thanks for tuning in. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. Also, be sure to like if you liked and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. And also hit that bell icon so you get notified. All right, this was Bunting. Peace out.